leaking. <laughs> Whoa. What you say? All right, so not the cutest fruit to look at. Um, yeah. How do you do, Cat Crew? Welcome to another segment of Exotic Fruits with your boy Keys. And your girl T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And today we are trying. Kiwano. Ah, 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 ah. Kiwano. Ah, 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 ah. Kiwano. Ah, 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 ah. Please like, share, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so you will always be aware of all of our content that we release right here on this channel. So we picked up the Kiwano at Mom's Organic Market. That's a local market in Maryland. I think there's a couple of different locations. We'll leave their locations in the description and um, their link if they have one. We'll figure that out. So this fruit goes by many names. Um, some of them are African Horned Cucumber, Horned Melon, Spiked Melon, and Jelly Melon. When we found this in the store and purchased it, the cashier, she was like, oh, I've never seen that before. She said, that looks like a feisty. She said, it looks feisty. And it is, it's so pointy and it's prickly. And in my opinion, it can also serve as a weapon. You know, keep this in your car or somewhere in your purse or in your pocket. You know, if somebody run up on you, you just throw it at them right in the forehead. They, they should leave you alone because this thing is so pointy and you can really do some damage. Can you imagine that? Stop it. Get some help. It's a lot. But, uh... <laughs> but there are many benefits uh, that you can get from this fruit. Um, it has a lot of vitamin C, it has protein, and I found in my research that it's a possibility that it can promote blood sugar control. So that is very interesting. All right, so cool, let's jump into it. Juicy. It's a lot of juice coming out. It's leaking. <laughs> Whoa. Juicy. All right, so not the cutest fruit to look at. Um, yeah. As you can see, the seeds surrounded by like a jelly substance. From what I can see so far, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't looking for it to be green. Okay. All right, so off assumption, first time having it, what would you think it would taste like? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's very interesting. So, yeah, I would expect it to be sweet or something of that nature. I don't know, but we about to find out. Truthfully speaking, my opinion, it looks like monster mucus or something. But... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just, I mean, if it promotes blood sugar control and has all these benefits, I guess, I mean, might as well try it. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Well, you just went right for it. Not bad. Has that banana potassium Oh, not potassium, but that little. Uh, no, I see what you mean. It, it don't. You know, taste... like the uh, inside of a banana peel, that little. I don't know how to describe it in words, but just that feeling. As far as the seeds, it kind of reminds me of like uh, pumpkin seeds. It doesn't really have like, I'm sorry. Oh boy. It doesn't really have much of a taste. It it had I can't put my finger on it. It's like citrusy, but it's not sour like a lemon or has like a distinct taste like. Yeah, the um the little substance around the seed definitely has the feel of jelly. Like jello, like a jello, like definitely. Um, but the uh, 
after you bite into it, it kind of gives you the uh, the texture of like orange or lemon, lime. And I like a mix of different things. Yeah. And I can see why I think um, another name for it is also um, jelly melon. Um, and I can see why, because it tastes just like little bits of jelly. Mm -hmm. um, and it's like each seed, I don't know if you can see the seed, each seed is kind of enveloped or wrapped in the jelly. And it's shaped just like the seed. Like. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It's a pretty interesting fruit. I can also see why they call it like the, the horned cucumber. It definitely gives you that that vibe of a, a cucumber, like with the seeds mm -hmm. surrounded by, you know, something mm -hmm. green. <laughs> yeah, but I do like the orange color on the outside. It's a very unique looking fruit. And it, it doesn't taste bad, actually. Yeah, I need a spoon. I'll be back. And a spoon is important because while trying to eat this. I pricked my lip like two times. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you eat it with something. <laughs> yeah, this isn't bad at all. This will be something definitely to let kids try. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's a healthy jello, you know? If you can get them to eat it. <laughs> if they can get past the look of it, I guess. Yeah, if your kids are into dinosaurs or anything like that, maybe you can get them in. But don't lie to them though. Don't say it's like a dinosaur egg or something. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> bad. Yeah. But no, this is this is good. That would be bad. This is definitely good. Um so yeah, I mean Oh, and look. Sorry. Oh good. So like it's like broken up into like little section, little sections. It looks like a face, doesn't it? Like two eyes, see the two eyes. But it, they're broken up into little chambers or like little sections. Yeah, That's so. pretty cool. So on rate the one to 10, just based off itself, I mean, what would you give it? I mean, it doesn't have much of a taste and I mean, and you know, with the benefits it provides, I would give it a seven or eight. Yeah, I would give it about a seven. It's not nothing crazy as far as flavor wise, but it's, you know, nutritious is good. I wouldn't mind eating it again. Um, so yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching. This has been another segment of Exotic Roots with your boy Keys. And your girl T. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be aware of any content we put out in the future. And let us know in the comments if you would ever like to try Kawanu or corn melon or whatever you call it where you're from. Or if you've ever tried it before. Peace.